On to Afghanistan now, which has witnessed its most violent week in 19 years. According to the government, the Taliban has carried out 422 attacks in 32 provinces in the past week alone. 422 attacks. At least 290 members of the security forces have been killed. 550 have been injured. This comes at a time when a series of attempts have been made to end the war in the country. But there are a number of challenges. For instance, on Monday itself, an, uh, an unknown gunman killed at least five senior staff members of Afghanistan's Attorney General's office. In another instance, an advocate of Kapisa province was assassinated by unidentified gunmen while he was on his way to work. Afghanistan's National Security Forces spokesperson said, and I'm quoting now, Taliban's commitment to reduce violence is meaningless and their actions inconsistent with their rhetoric on peace, unquote. The statement comes at a time when there is a lot of hope regarding the intra-Afghan negotiations. The recent killings have attracted widespread condemnation, including from the U.S. Special Representative mm -hmm. uh, Zalmay Khalil Saad. He has called for investigation into the killings and said that such incidents should not deter the authorities from making the intra-Afghan talks go ahead. Political experts say these incidents and the escalation of violence are attempts to sabotage the Afghanistan peace process. Our Kabul correspondent Mustafa Kazemi has been tracking the developments on the ground, sent us this report. Take a look. In an unprecedented week of violence in Afghanistan, 422 attacks by the Taliban have been recorded by the government, which has resulted in the death of 291 members of the Afghan security forces over the past week. This is happening just in wake of Afghan government's preparation to finally sit down with the insurgent group, the Taliban, and end the 20 years long war in the country. On the cross side of that yesterday, five members of Afghan Attorney General's office were assassinated by unidentified gunmen as they were en route from Kabul city to Bagram prison where most of the Taliban prisoners are held. Sources inside the government tell us unofficially that these five uh, assassinated members were prosecution members and four of them were generals and one of them was a colonel. But officially the government does not uh, comment about what case or dossier they were working on at the time of their assassinations. This could be a serious blow to the Afghan peace process as the Afghan government and other parties involved are trying best to bring the Taliban to peace negotiations and showing a gesture of goodwill by releasing a number of their prisoners every week and every month. On the side of that, just a few hours ago, uh, advocate judge of one of uh, uh, nearby provinces, Kapisa, central province of Afghanistan, was assassinated by unidentified gunmen while he was en route to work. These incidents have attracted global condemnations, including that of Zalmay Khalilzad, the special representative of the United States to Afghanistan, who said in a tweet that no party involved in the Afghan peace process should be deterred by such incidents and the work for uh, bringing peace to Afghanistan will continue. This is Mustafa Kazimir for We Are in Kabul, World is One.